Next this morning, the group action by a collection of property owners caught up in a leasehold trap. This process involves owning the home they bought, but never actually owning the land it's on. And in many cases, having to pay freehold rent to those who do. Just under two and a half million homes in the UK are leasehold properties. Ali Fortescue has been speaking to one owner who feels she's been ripped off. I want to own the property that I'm, uh, that I'm paying a mortgage for. Um, it doesn't sit right with me and it gives me many sleepless nights. Actually, somebody else actually owns my property. Soon after giving birth to her son, nurse Katie Kendrick bought her leasehold home. She believed she'd be able to quickly buy the freehold, but without her knowing it, it was sold to a big investment company, who've now quoted her three times the price to buy it outright. I absolutely feel like I was misled at the point of sale. Had I known then what I know now, there's no way that I would have entered into such a vulnerable, complex system that I'm now trapped in. Um, if it was their intention to sell my freehold on, um, they should have been up front with that at the, at the point of sale. So I absolutely believe that I was misled and missold the property. Leaseholds are essentially long-term tenancies. They're controversial and almost unique to England and Wales. At a time of valuable ground rent incomes, this murky corner of the property market means professional landowners can reap the rewards while the leaseholder pays the bills. Many of them have high onerous ground rents and also terms of the lease that, uh, af where the leaseholders have to pay for permission to change anything in their house. We've seen people who've been asked to pay £5,500 for permission to build a conservatory in their own gardens or £200 per room to change a carpet. What makes it difficult for leaseholders as individuals is that they have to pay the freeholder costs for any legal battle for their home. But now, for the first time, hundreds, including Katie, have joined together to take on big investors and forcibly buy their homes. But some are calling this a David and Goliath battle. Lease holds a lucrative business for investors and people like Katie are struggling to fight for the right to own their home. Ali Fortescue, Sky News. Well, in a statement, the company who sold Katie Kendrick the leasehold said although Bellway pledged in January 2018 to discontinue the sale of leasehold houses for many years prior to that, it was commonplace for local authorities, certain landowners and the majority of house builders to sell homes and development sites on a long leasehold basis.